Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today I am super excited to bring you a favourite brand of mine and the reason very very quickly is because this is a brand which has been used on my hair for a long long time. I have gone to the same place where I get my hair styled for many years now and the same person uh, cuts and styles my hair and they always use Redkin products. So here we are looking at the Redkin hairspray, we are looking at the Redkin pomade, and we are looking at the Redkin thickening spray for men's hair. Now of course, not just for men, anybody could use this. So for example, if you wanted, if you had longer hair, absolutely we've got some really fantastic products here which you could use for longer hair, whether you're a man or a woman. And again, for men or women, if you've got shorter hair, fantastic. So even though that thickening spray says for men, I really truly believe that you could use that for either both. And especially, let's start with our hairspray. So this is absolutely a fantastic product, which for women and men's hair, absolutely will give you the most voluptuous, huge amount of body in the hair and that perfect hold. For me, it gives me that real suave, sort of sleek, polished look, which I like in my hairstyle. And what I really, really like about hair, uh, hair sprays, free sprays, that type of thing, is I like them to be dry. I don't like them to be wet. When you've put all that effort in and you've used a brush or like, um, or like a, a pre-treatment or a root lifting spray and you've got that really nice height, that really nice style. Sometimes what you want is you just want to spray it in and lock that style in place. If it's a wet hairspray, then of course sometimes that taints it a little bit and even flattens it and it really does, it starts to almost turn back on what you're actually trying to achieve. So let's have a look at this one. So this is the Red Kin NYC Fifth Avenue Triple Mist Diffusion Triple Take Hairspray. And this is extreme high hold hairspray. Now, this is my absolute new favorite. We are looking at a family of Redkin products here. Now, I have separated. I've got another. I've got another two products which I'm going to look at, but that's going to be in a later clip. Just because I really want to sort of this year concentrate on my clips being a little bit more shorter, improving the quality, and just getting those core cool sort of facts out there. So let's tell you a little bit about the hairspray. So control level. So it's a maximum level for uh, Redkin uh, in their hairspray product range. So straight away, I can absolutely confirm that it completely is that. You really don't need lots of it. And literally a small spray really does give you the greatest of hold. What I like about this spray as well is that you can build your style with it. So for example, if you've got a style like what I've got today, and literally you can spray a little bit first of all and then you can sort of maneuver your hair around or you can finish the style you want and you can spray a bit more and then after that if you wanted perhaps a little bit more shape on a particular area of your hair then you could go back in and use a little bit more of that so you can build on the style so then eventually you've got this masterpiece hair style and then you can spray it all over to hold it in place now is this smell choking is it overbearing no does it affect your scalp does it affect sort of the sides of your your scalp or your hairline here does it make you agitated or is it uncomfortable does it irritate you not at all it's a really dry fine mist spray now this here is uh, I, I did mention it it's triple mist fusion and that i believe is because on the in the opening of the bottle here it's got three very tiny holes and you get the most finest mist of hairspray come out and i believe that's what just gives you that edge on other hairsprays because it's super super fine and it's dry and it just takes hold straight away and that's absolutely what i like in a hairspray i've always wanted to try this redkin products for me i have had them used on my hair when i have my hair cut but you know what? i'll be very very honest it's the it's the price is just a little bit high for what i would like to pay for an everyday product so straight Straight away, Redkin products for me are sort of like if you're going somewhere special or if you're going out for the night, you're going somewhere where you really want to look your best, whether that's men or women, um, then of course, for anyone, literally, perhaps perhaps have them, but have them sort of in your armory of products right at the back. So if you know you're going somewhere special or sort of a family gathering, or perhaps you're going out with with family or uh, your wife or your husband is, is taking you out somewhere lovely or your partner, whatever. Um, and you want to absolutely look your best, Redkin products will certainly absolutely just finish off whatever your style is. Um, certainly an absolute favourite of mine. The reason I've got I'll be quite honest, after the festive period, um, I received a bunch of them as a really, really lovely gift from a family member. And I was really, really taken back because the cost which we're going to 
come to in a moment is the only thing which kind of would stop i would think somebody from being able to use these type of products all the time but for me at the moment i'm really really using them i've used the redkin products which i'm talking about now for about a two-week period so it's two weeks since we have had christmas so um, I've had, a, I would say, I've had that nice time to be able to say if it's affected my scalp, if it's affected my skin. It does not do that at all. It's got a really nice sort of, uh, I'd say quite a unisex smell. Um, and it's just really nice and fresh. But you can tell it's that nice expensive product. And the hold is just absolutely second to none. Let's move on. So the next product um, I want to have a look at is a thickening spray. Now, a lot of people will probably, with fine hair, know exactly what I'm talking about. When you style your hair and it looks great in the mirror, you turn away you turn back it's fallen flat now i have fine textured hair i have a rather a lot of it but it sits flat so i always use thickening sprays root lifting sprays because what that does is that then gives you the effect that you've got much more hair your hair has that structure and it stands so a thickening spray and a good quality one like this one here just gives you that core sort of foundation that structure almost like a scaffolding to your style so then you don't have to use so much of a styling product to hold your style in place because you've got the core products here first of all how would you use it shampoo and condition first of all of your chosen shampoo and conditioner and then here spray this all throughout your hair for me i part my hair several times and then i spray this all throughout and then i brush it through so i know it's covered my hold of my scalp in my hair then take a blow dryer with a brush just like this one here my favorite one so an oblong brush here and then literally for the style like what i've got now and i am growing out my undercuts but i still like to wear this sometimes and today this is exactly what i've done so I've shampooed and conditioned my hair with my favorite shampoo and conditioner from l'oreal professional which is a suroxal range for fine hair which boosts volume as well then what i've done is i've used this redkin bruise nyc grooming instant thickening uh, spray all throughout my hair now it's really really nice it's really cold because it's got menthol in it's really quite nice and stimulating and it really does wake you up so if it's first thing in the morning i start working around about half past six so i'm up getting ready sorting my hair out i would say around about six o'clock quarter to six sometimes around that time so this absolutely a must first thing in the morning and it's great because it really does lift the hair away from the scalp when you're drying the hair you can ultimately see almost like a sponge that not crazy amounts but realistically you can see the hair sort of almost taking shape of the style what you want to do um and it doesn't make the hair feel sticky doesn't make it feel coarse you literally feel as though you've got that very nice uh Thickness, fullness, texture in the hair, everything what you're looking for. So for me, an absolute ultimate favourite. So on the bottom here, it's got for thicker, fuller looking hair instantly. And I can absolutely confirm it certainly does do that. For men's hair, why I said this right at the start, because there is nothing in here which... In fact, actually, I think that's my mistake. I think I'm sort of uh, being a little bit sort of judgmental there because it says Barber Essential. So I'm sort of picking straight away as it's a Barber Essential. It would possibly be for men's hair. But... Absolutely, for men or women's hair. For women's hair, very often, if you had long length hair, if you had fine hair and you wanted a bit of volume at the roots, literally flip the pattern off to the opposite side, spray all this on the roots, you'd get some absolutely glamorous, crazy, really, really attractive volume in the hair. So really, really a must product for men and women. Let's tell you a little bit about the product on the back. So Redkin Bruise Instant Thickening Spray volumizes existing hair to instantly create the look and feel of fullness and density. Spray, uh, spray on damp or dry hair and massage uh, from scalp to ends, do not rinse, style as usual. And that's exactly what I've done, um, and that's what I would recommend you. Don't use crazy amounts of heat because you don't need to, just the blow dryer on low, sort of medium heat, and just take your time with it. And using a brush like what I've got here, I started from the back of my head, smoothing the hair downwards, and then literally, with the uh, blow dryer in one hand, literally pull the hair up, words towards the ceiling and just have a little bit of tension in your hand but just be careful you don't need to go crazily sort of aggressive or anything like that at all still you want to make sure that you're looking after your scalp and your hair and then just pull slowly up towards the ceiling and just move through your whole scalp so here to so sort of move back again and then move back again move back again and then in the front here you can go that little bit more of that advanced volume and when i find you use a brush like this sort of like this a uh, semicircle sort of brush you can really move to the sort of the contours of your scalp and really get that quite incredible lift and then what's really nice is if you've got fine hair like me it doesn't flop or it doesn't sit sort of off to one side completely flat this gives you that ultimate structure and construction in your, in your hairstyle so if you wanted to then you could just run your fingers through off to one side like what i have done and then use your redkin hairspray and then you've got that amazing style just to then shoot out the door to whatever you are doing 
So, let's move on to Redkin Parmade. Now, I absolutely love Parmade products. They always sort of just shout out to me that really lovely traditional era, that real nice, smart, sophisticated, professional sort of look, which I like to think is really, really up my street. Now, Parmade for me, sometimes they can be a little bit heavy, greasy and oily. This one is not. So this is by Redkin. This is Redkin Brews, which I believe is the sort of, um, the, the, because the hairspray isn't the Redkin Brews, it's Redkin, Fifth Avenue, NYC. But the Parmade, which I've got, and the thickening spray is Redkin Brews, NYC Grooming. I believe that's part of the Barber's, yes, the Barber's Essentials range. That's why I said it could be for men's hair, but absolutely there's no product in here which smells, and you would think that's a men's product at all. So, for example, now you see some real, real super cool, glamorous, sort of attractive looks on women where they've got that real nice uh, pompadour sort of look in the front and then the long hair at the back tied and pinned up into a real glamorous style. This would be fantastic for getting that definition, that contour in the hair. And that's exactly like what I've done today. So I've shampooed and conditioned my hair, then I've used a thickening spray all throughout my hair, and then I've used this brush, and then each section I've dried backwards just to really create that lift. A little bit of tautness on the hair, pulling up towards the ceiling, and then you've got that real nice, sort of real nice sleekness all the way back. Here, then on the sides, as you can notice, I'm growing the bottom of my hair out a little bit now. It is long, it is a little bit, sometimes a little bit unruly to manage, but if you take my tip for that is if you take the blow dryer, hold this hair out of the way and literally get the air to blast against your scalp, okay, not aggressively, not hot, not super high heat or anything like that at all, gently and just with your hand, literally, I keep saying that word, don't I? I apologise. <laughs> my apologies. Um, hold the blow dryer in one hand and then smooth the hair down and even just grab the brush, blow dryer in one hand, smooth it downwards and you'll get it nice and smooth and sleek. My little tip there for you if you're growing out or if you want that real longer sort of look on top and you're growing out a little bit longer at the sides. Then what I've done is I've taken a small amount. You do not need loads of this at all. It is an incredible, incredible product. The only thing I slightly would say is that you do have to sort of warm the pomade up in your hands. It's clear. It's got a really, really nice smell. But again, it's not it's not to the point where it's overpowering. It doesn't smell sort of, oh, good, uh, goodness, I've used a real strong hair product at all. It's really, really nice. Um, the only thing I could kind of say, which it is, it's almost like, uh, like a, like a, a subtle cologne, but to be quite honest with you, for men or women, you would think it kind of reminds me of like a cedar, sort of a, like an, like an oaky type smell, but you, you wouldn't categorically say that's a sort of a real overpowering old fashioned men's sort of smelling hair product at all. It's really nice. It's fresh, but it's quite sort of sensual. It's quite sort of oaky, sort of woody smell. And um, you can tell I like my aftershaves, don't you? <laughs> um, but it's a really nice product. And this, as I say, you need to warm it up in your hands because it is a little bit difficult to get into the hair. But after you've done that and you've smoothed it through, what I've done here is I've used a little bit and just smoothed the sides back, as you can see. And then I've taken a small amount of my hands and then because I've blow dried uh, my hair, what I always try to do is blow dry the hair into the style you are looking to achieve. Don't sort of blow dry your hair off one side and then you're going to walk, you're going to wear it just back because what you'll do is you'll, you'll get the shape from the blow dry. So always try to put your hair into the shape you're wearing it. The only sort of time I wouldn't do that is, for example, if I was wearing my hair off this side, I would blow dry the opposite side because with fine hair, if you go to the opposite side you're wearing, it gives you more natural volume. Okay, so I took a little bit of the pomade in my hands here. The only reason I haven't shown you this is because it's really difficult to see it's really really difficult to see and the thing is where well, i haven't used too much of it i've used this about four times um in a fortnight it looks like i haven't hardly used it but you can see i don't know if you can just see i've used this here and you really that's how i mean as you can see you don't need to use that much at all and that's in a two-week period i'm pleased with that i didn't think it would show on the actual camera <laughs> so that's brilliant there we go um Really, really nice. It's got such a shine on it as well. And do you know what? That would just, and I'm an absolute devil for using loads and copious amounts of hair product. This is one of the first ones where I don't need to use that much at all. The smallest, smallest little bit gives you the most incredible hold. Gives it away a bit, doesn't it? High hold pomade. Yeah, it does do that. Pomades I absolutely love. This isn't that traditional sort of pomade though. It's modern. It's trendy. It's sort of really on the point of sort of that real nice, sophisticated, high-end product. And of course, with Redkin, you would expect no other. Then, of course, after that, literally spray all over with this hairspray. Absolutely incredible. These 
three products here are my ultimate favorites to start off 2021. Now, of course, I started with the hairspray, then I started with the thickening spray, and then we finished with the pomade. Now, the, I don't know why I said it like that, but <laughs> the pomade, I just want to cover off price with you. So this is where I get a little bit of a gray cloud over me. So price, thickening spray, this one here, when I done my research, I didn't know how much the person, my family member who bought these gifts for me, as well as other gifts, by the way. So it was really, really sports at Christmas. We all had an amazing time and I hope you did too if you're watching this. So the thickening spray, I found this online, £25. I know, steep, but an investment because it lasts. The pomade, I found this for price ranging between £12 and £18. And then the hairspray, I found this ranging between £12 and £15, but I did find a twin pack for around the £24 mark. So, like I say, real high-end top products, but if you were to sort of use them every now and again, value for money, absolutely. If you want to really spoil yourself and use them every day, they would last because of the quality you don't need to use so much. I'm absolutely crazy for super great quality hairspray. So this, I'm just going through quite quickly. I'll be very honest with you, but of course that's my choice. And I like my style to be absolutely concrete solid. So there you go. Other days I like a bit more movement, a bit more texture in my hair. But like today, what I've got, um, I've got a lot of spray and a lot of the... Um, thickening spray in my hair, but a very small amount of the pomade. So in terms of that, they are a premium price range, but of course they are that premium top end product as well. I hope you have taken a lot away from this clip. I have certainly enjoyed this one. They are my absolutely ultimate favorite brand, I have to admit, and I've had them used in my hair when I've had my hair cut for a while. I would say just off the top of my head, they literally are right in my top end sort of products of what I would look to purchase for myself. So I would gift these products would be perfect. Um, and for me, yeah, they're up there in the Hall of Fame of products for my hairstyles. Okay. Um, I think that was it. I hope, as I say, I hope you've got, you've, you've managed to take a few things away from there. If you do have any comments at all for me, please leave them down below. I really absolutely enjoy receiving your comments and I really do try my best to get back to you as quick as I can, but I will get back to you. Okay, thanks very much indeed. Until next time, we will see you then. Bye-bye now.